introduction to EQ8 and some of the cool things that you can do with this program. To start off with, I have my quilt here for X marks the spot and it's already finished. So I let's just assume that you've already created this wonderful pattern you're excited about and you want to go and print off a picture of this quilt top to keep. Then you would come to file, go to print, click on quilt, and you can edit the name X marks the spot. You can outline the drawing, you can show the fabrics, name, overall size, block outline, or you can choose to do none of those and just print off as shows. If we hit preview, it'll show you what that would look like. And if we come and want to put the name, outline the drawings, and hit preview, it can print off a coloring page. It gives you lots of options for that. It gives you the overall size there. Now let's say that you are just wanting to know how much fabric you're going to need of each of these colors. Go to File, Print, Fabric, Yardage. And we're going to just hit Preview. I'm not actually going to print it off. It's going to go ahead and break it down, how much you need, number of patches, and that's assuming a certain method of um, putting your quilt together. But it's pretty accurate yardage, super helpful to get started with. Now let's say that you are just starting from scratch. Let's start this um, demo quilt. I'm gonna name it that. You start off with a blank canvas and there's a few options you can do. Layout, you can come and do horizontal. Uh, let's, we need to go to new quilt here. Horizontal, on point. There's a bunch of different options just to get you started. You can do a custom as well, where you create your own blocks and place them wherever you want. Let's just, for this example, do horizontal. Once you decide which layout you want here, you can come and decide how many blocks you want, how big you want each block to be. Let's say I want the finished block to be six inches by six inches. You can add sashing. Let's see if I wanna do sashing or not. I guess type in zero. And then we're going to come to design. Well, there's borders. I won't go into too much of, there's a lot to go over. So I'm just going to go over just a really quick run through of how to do this. If you want, they have some blocks for you to get started that you can just play with if you want. You can also come to their library and go to the block library and they have so, so, so many blocks. I mean, you can spend forever just looking through the different things that they have in here. So let's say I'm just, just for kicks, we'll just go with this one. Add it to the sketchbook. We're done with that. And now we'll come over to our library and there it is. So I'm gonna click on this and we'll just put it in here like so. And once it's really fun, I mean, just even just doing this can really give you a lot of ideas and things to, to play around with. So once that's in, let's say that we want to change the color. So we're going to come up to fabric and they have a bunch of fabrics already in their library that you can use and a bunch of colors, which are solids. If you want to add your own, you totally can. We're going to go to fabric library this time. And I'm going to add some fabric. There, there's a bunch of lessons on how to add this, but we'll just, for time's sake right now, I'll just show you. Let's see. I will pick, okay, there's this fun new line from Art Gallery Fabrics that's coming out. Oh, not that one. I want all the same line. It's a new Halloween line, so I'm gonna click those open. I'm going to select them all and add to my sketchbook. Then I go to my fabrics. It's going to be at the end and here they are. Now let's say I want everything on here that's yellow to actually be this orange color. So you can go and click swap color and turn all of those orange. And then let's say all of the dark aqua I want to be this pumpkin patch, you do that. That's actually a bit bright, so I'm gonna switch it to that. 
and I'm going to switch these to that. And for a background, I might do, let's just try for kicks, a light pink. Okay, that's just, I don't, I don't love it, but it gives you an idea of how you can kind of play with this. So let's say that I love this. You can come, save the project, give it a name. If you want to come back later, you can save, you'd click save project. And each time you make a change to this, let's say I come back and I decide that I want, I don't know, let's say, ooh, let's just say that I like that just for kicks. And that's a little bit different. So now I'm gonna come in and go and click Save Project again. And then when you go to open it, it will save all the different variations that you've done. For example, let me show you, my X marks the spot. So if I want to open that project, I'm not gonna save, it says work table quilt is not in the sketchbook. Do you wanna save this? No, I don't. So X marks the spot. You're gonna see a little bit my progression of that pattern. So I started off with this design, then I moved to this. That's not how the pattern looks now. I moved to this, and then I decided to try different colors. And this, I added a few different colors here just to get fabric requirements. And here I added some more rows, border, a bunch of different fabrics. How does that look, that look, that look? Let's say I wanna work on this one. So I'd click that one, click edit, and here it is. And now I can go in with the fabrics that I've downloaded already. You can see that I downloaded a bunch of different fabrics to play with. You can just mix around and try all you want to try out the different variations. And let's say that I want to design my own block. I don't want to use something from their library. I want to create my very own block. You come to the block work table and easy draw and you can decide what block width you want, the height, how many grids you want. Right now it's eight, so you can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say I want it to be every 16 so that you can go every half an inch. And you can come in and just design whatever you want. And let's say I do this and this and this. And all of a sudden, I actually hate that idea. You just come and delete, delete, delete. You can just create to your heart's desire. And when you're done, you'll come, save project, go back to your work table. And if you go to your block tools, that block that you designed will be in your block library. So this is just a tiny, tiny glimpse of the power of EQ8 and the things you can design there. There's tons of different layouts, uh, on point, horizontal. You can do a custom where you have blocks of all different sizes. And I mean, the world is really your oyster. There's no limit. It's a really fun program. And if you have questions, leave a comment. I am thinking of putting together a course for people who want to design quilt patterns and use EQ8. So if you're interested, click the link below and I will get in touch with you. So have a great day.